What did you see from Daniel Jones on that 18 play drive that maybe he's done differently or impressed mm -hmm. you? Daniel did a nice job on that drive. There were some really big conversions, but I think overall the offense just executed really well. I mean, we had to overcome a couple second longs, a couple third and longs. Um, and those guys just hung in there and, and executed when we needed them to. Something Dave said a lot about him, you probably have as well, is he's doing what we ask him to do. What does that mean? What are you asking him to do? Um, execute, execute his job to the best of his ability. You know, execute the offense, manage you know, what we ask him to do in, in the run game, the pass game, protections, um, you know, all the things cerebrally that we ask him to do. And, and then you know, go and be himself. Because you're not asking him to throw for 400 yards, it feels like you're asking him not to turn the ball over. Is that is that challenging as a quarterback to play on that line where it seems like any mistake can really derail you guys? Yeah, every game is different. You know, every every game is different. And, you know, some some games we, we may ask him to do that. Some games we might not at all. It's just you know how the nature of the game goes and and where we're at in the game. And you know, I've been around teams that have done that, have had to do that. But Daniel's doing a great job of of, of managing um, managing the offense, executing. And then you know, lean our guys down to your score. You obviously you have, have well, you obviously have a lot of plays to choose from. Mm -hmm. if, I imagine the list gets a little narrow when it's fourth and nine, right? Yeah. Not a lot of plays. Yes. I mean, how do you in that situation you don't want to be in? Right. How did you kind of come up with that? And you know, what what where was that on your list? Yeah. So we we, we watch it as a staff together um, and go through those plays, go through the thoughts on, on how we want to attack them on really all those fourth downs. It's got to have like, critical, got to have it plays. And so we have our thoughts, we have our list. You know, early in the week, and then as we get closer to the game, obviously we're talking with the quarterbacks about what they like in those situ situations as well. So it's a collaborative effort and talk about um, when we get to those situations. You know, what's our what's our go-to? So that's that's what we did. Okay, so that's that was number one on the list. That's right. That, and that was the first. That was his first. That was there. the first opportunity to call up there. Yeah, absolutely. Go back to Daniel for one second. Would you say you're, you know, you're, he's doing what you're asking to? You're the fewest twenty-plus yard passing plays in the league. Yeah. Is that because? In your mind, you're not really asking him to do that, like it, based on situation, personnel, et cetera? I'd say just every, every game is just different as far as like how you want to attack a defense. Um, you know, some, some games you want to do that, some games you want to do something else. So I think when, when, you're, when, you're, when you're evaluating the defensive structure and how they do things, you, you got to ask yourself, all right, where, where are our shots at? Where are our plays that we can get chunks, completion plays? Where are the kind of runs we like? So. All of those things we talk about and evaluate, and based on how the game goes, that's you know that's what we choose to call. Mike, their interior defensive line ranked the first game for a lot of the game. Did playing them that game help you guys in this game, just to know what you could do, what you couldn't do against them? And yeah. was that kind of what we saw in the second half, where your guys up front really, really prevented them from doing anything? Yeah, they did? our guys up front did a really nice job all game. Um, you know, I think. They, um, they played within themselves, they executed, they were fundamentally sound for the most part. And I, I felt really good about how they just attacked the week of practice and week, week of prep. As far as um, those guys in Washington, they're a really talented front and we see talented fronts every week. You know? So it's, it's one of those things where even this week's no different. It's a great challenge and so we gotta you know, continue to have a good week of work. When you put something into a game plan that you know is going to work, like for example, Late in the game against Washington, you have those duo blocking schemes on that drive where Saquon's running up the middle. Is it tempting as a play caller not to use it early? Like, it seems like you guys save those plays sometimes for key moments. Yeah, I, I think, um, I don't know if I would say we save them for those moments because those are plays that we like throughout the game. Maybe we get to them earlier. Um, I think sometimes you just you find a groove as an offense and you know you get a play that guys are just feeling it at that at that point. You know, whether it's players um, running it, we you know we get the corrections, maybe they had an adjustment in game early on that we made an adjustment on on the sideline. And so now we want to go back to something. What well, it could be any scheme really, you know. So I think our guys have done a great job of adjusting. They did a great job of going down there and then and executing it when we needed to. And those were those were big plays for us. Mike is as you potentially have, have time with Daniel down the road. Do you think there are, there are steps he can take to, to become, you know, even better, or or however you would phrase that, better, even better, the best, whatever? Yeah. That that like in a second year, hypothetically, you can explore more than maybe you are this year. Yeah. Daniel does a great job. I mean, every day, Daniel he comes to work. I mean, whether it's in the in the classroom, just sat in there with the install, asking questions. Um, and then, you know, on the field, he's working his butt off too. So it's, a gr it's great for him. Like, he's always looking for ways to improve, no matter what day it is, whether it's, um, 
you know, future past, whatever. But he's always looking for ways to improve his game, and uh, you know, asking him how certain people did it certain ways, and you know, bouncing um, ideas off of Dave and Shea and myself and the other quarterbacks. So he's always looking for ways to learn and grow. That's one of the one things I love about him. How much did you see Saquon sort of have a little extra juice in that game? It seemed like he seemed a significantly different runner than he did certainly the week before. Yeah, Saquon, he played, he played hard. He, he, he did a nice job. And, you know, I think those are all things we can learn from and grow from. You know, I, I hate living in the past on that type of stuff. But he did a really nice job and gave us an opportunity to win the game. So, you know, we got to find a way to, to get back to that again this week and have another good week of practice. Is it too simple to trace, like, Bredesen coming back in the lineup and the run game kind of getting back on track? Yeah, I, I think I've, I've said this numerous times. I think the, the whole line, they've done a great job of just next man up, whether it's, um, Bredesen getting back in and, and playing playing well. I mean, Nick Gates has done a nice job, and you know all those guys have done a great job. They're battling, and that's what I love about that group. They they stick together, they communicate, and they battle. And you know, no matter if it's good or bad, they're kind of the same. So that's when you look when you look at it. Um, that's one thing that I, I, I you can rely on. You can lean on those guys a little bit um, from the front. Mike, your your answer a couple answers ago intrigued me. So does Daniel ever ask like about Mahomes and Allen, given obvious ties here now? I mean, it, and it would be I'm not suggesting that would be a bad thing if he did, because yeah. it's curiosity. Absolutely, I, mean, I, I ask the same thing with Daniel. Like we, we we talk about um, offenses and you know how you may have run in. I talk about the same thing with our staff, whether you've been in Baltimore, Houston, or Indiana, like all those teams have something they can bring. And so I'm always looking to learn and grow. And Daniel's the same way. He's, you know, he's asking questions about how we did things in other places I've been and how Dave has done play things in other ways. So I think that's good. That's, that's the cool part about you know, this profession is you get a lot of guys who are from a different, bunch of different spots. You bring them together, you get the ideas down, and you, know, you can grow. You, know, you can grow an offense and kind of develop it. Daniel seems to have like a natural humility about him. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Mike, when you were the play call on Saquon's touchdown run, mm -hmm. how, how often did you guys practice that? And what was the genesis of that play call? Like, where did you get it from or yep. create it from? We, we've had it up for several weeks in several different situations. And, um, you know, that was just the, it was a, you know opportunity right there to call it, give them, give them an opportunity on the perimeter. But, yeah, we practice it every week. Mike, when you look at an opposing defense, what's the first thing you look at? Is it... They have 40 sacks, they're going to bring pressure. How do you, when you go into a game plan? Sure, yeah, just like anything, I think it starts up front. You evaluate their front. You know, that's, you know, typically tells the story of the defense. And Minnesota has a really talented front. And you look at the second level, look at the third level. So you kind of, you start at the front, then you work your way back. And then you, you know, kind of figure out what kind of defensive structure they're going to be, what kind of front structure they want to be, and how those things tie together. And so, yeah, th th those are th that's really kind of my step, my process. Start at the front, second level, you know, dealing with the pressures and how they cover there, and then third level, what kind of coverages they show, what kind of structures they show, and if there's any indicators that we can build off of that. I know Dave's always said that you guys, the coaches have been everywhere, so you all have former places. But do you take any time to pick Andre Patterson's brain about what you may see in Minnesota this weekend? Yeah, I mean, any, any opportunity, like there's, we've had some carryover on some of the teams with our coaching staff, so it's been good. And Trey's, um, you know, he's helpful uh, you know, in areas that we can, and we've, we've picked the brains of all our coaches. Mike, real quick, um, is the potential of playing this team in the playoffs impacting how you call this game at all? No, we're, we're not looking, we're not looking at, at that. We're just, we're focused on this week, you know, and trying to put the best game plan together as we can.